Okay, let's do it. Okay, we are here. The, again, this is Dr. Tony at UCarpac Clinic. We're up, we're up, uh, Chiropractic Health in Clermont Cucamonga. Dr. Mary Zanopla is a chiropractor in Laverne. I'm here to talk to my first chiropractor on my show because I want him to speak the message that I talk to patients all the time and his unique ability to connect with his community, his general area, and also from the state level to not only bring people to understand chiropractic, but also getting chiropractors to work with other chiropractors to get the message out even at a broader level. All right, so Dr. introduce yourself. Do what's going on. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you, Dr. Tony, for having me here and uh, giving this opportunity to share the knowledge about chiropractic, Bill. Um, uh, pretty much uh, as far as myself, uh, I've been, uh, I graduated in 2002. I've been in Laverne since 2007, practicing uh, chiropractic. Uh, and uh, my office is Foothill Family Chiropractic. And uh, thanks for having me today. Not a problem. And the biggest thing I is I want you in the show. Obviously, we both know Christy Jones. She's a great connector with everybody. Uh, is your unique ability to really? Mm -hmm. You've gone from being going to school in Dallas. We talked about yesterday, and then moving out here. When you moved out again, what was your connection to Laverne, to the area out here? Well, that's a great question because uh, I came in here like as I said yesterday. New kids on the block. I have yep. no idea. Not you know, just moved here. Exactly. And just uh, trying to deliver the purpose, uh, which is chiropractic. Uh, so uh, when I moved here initially, uh, I pretty much uh, got to know who's around me. And uh, I uh, called everybody and introduced myself to every chiropractor. When I met them at their office, uh, invite them to come to my office. And um, that's how I started as far as uh, uh, my journey in Laverne. But um, honestly, my goal was just to uh, let people and educate people about chiropractic and the benefits. And as the stats and as we know, uh, there are a lot of spines have not been touched. And uh, that's the issue. So. And Doc, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk for a second. Go to your... Go to the, the Crooked Spine Show and push the share button so it goes right to your uh, your own personal Facebook, too. I forgot to mention that when we first started the show. My, I'm sorry, my where is that at, though? At, at the bottom of on your phone, um, go to your uh, go to the Crooked Spine Show and push the share button from our show. Share just screen? So, uh, yeah, so right. So, yeah. So, share. Yeah, share I should not share screen, but share on your phone itself. Oh, okay. on here. Yeah, on there at that point, push the share button. That oh. right there, so that people can see it live too. Uh, oh, from the yeah, from the phone itself. From the phone itself. Right. Give me a moment. Right. The, there we so go. So I go to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the biggest thing, Doctor Mir, from yesterday's talk, I've been in practice almost the same time, two thousand five in Upland, before I was associate in two two years in Rancho. But I did it the safe way. I, I lived in Upland. I went to school in LA Chiropractic College in Whittier, and I interned almost the second semester out of the 10 mm -hmm. semesters right away with, with a couple guys I knew in the area to get my foot in the door. You sure. came in basically cold turkey into the area, and you're able to connect right away with people because you had, I think, you had a great purpose to help other people. Sometimes when we talk about being the purpose above ourselves, above of what we want for ourselves, allows the word to spread very quickly, correct? That is correct, though. And uh, to be honest, uh, you know, one of the things, one of the main things that I found out as going through uh, many years in practice is that there is a lack of education about mm -hmm. chiropractic, though. And I hate to hear uh, this, that every patient comes in and they say, I wish I knew about chiropractic five years ago. 10 years yeah. ago, you know, yeah. and um, when they find out, and again, there's nothing against Western medicine. I've been one of the, uh, I really appreciate the Western medicine. I've had uh, keratoconus and I lost my vision twice. Mm. Uh, and I've had two corneal transplants though. Mm. And I've, I always owe this to my great uh, doctor, that uh, my surgeon, that did uh, the fantastic job that I'm able to see. 
But on the right. other hand, uh, you know, we get sick, you know, things happen, there's pain, but uh, how do we approach it though? And uh, there's ways of invasive, there's ways of non-invasive though. What's my approach? I'm, I'm gonna try to do as much non-invasive. And if I have to, I go that route though. But what I found out is that a lot of people have do not exercise this do not uh pretty much uh let's say if i have a headache i just want to pop a pill mm -hmm. and that's where it distinguished between uh you know western medicine and chiropractic because uh it's always about finding the cause though makes sense though yeah. if i have a headache why and just in life and in practice i try to practice these three terms though well if you, why, like you say too, when people when, when people come into the go to their their primary care doctor their medical doctor first thing they do is go okay what kind of problem you have okay it's not in their mind it's not a tumor it's not it's not something where it has to be evasive like you had mentioned at that point the first thing they do is take the prescription pad out and go what kind of pill do you want what are you allergic to what what can i give you right now so that pill can fix you Exactly. exactly. Go, ahead, go, go to the go to the cause again. To, I, cut, I cut you off a little bit with the cause thing. Yeah. So uh, it's it's uh, you know when when patient come in here and I do extensive like you know history history. We all live, you know, uh, you are who you are, and your history carries you, with you, no matter where where you live, which country exactly. you are. Yep. That's that's who you are, and then but. A lot of this past has been ignored within the medical, though. You know, when I dig in to, let's say, if you have that numbness on your, uh, you know, your hand and your fingers, when I dig it down to like the last five, 10 years, and I see that you have had a car accident, let's say, you have had a slip and fall, though. And then when we go dig into it by doing the proper examination, by doing the proper x-ray to exactly. figure out, hey, which stage of degeneration, where are you? Where's your blueprint? I mean, what I use- generation, doc? Explain generation to people because people may not know what that means. Well, you know, how much your body has and your bones have been decayed though, okay. you know? And as uh, I always uh, tell my patients, like, you know, what we do as chiropractic, I hate to hear people call us like, you know, back pain, neck pain doctors. Back car practice. accident doctors yeah. no we're not we all we deal is is nervous system though mm -hmm. and uh the whole point of adjustments and everything else is to just relieve uh the nerve interference and let the body heal the body process though and when uh, we talk about you know spine and the joints and the bones those are just the frame of the body Good. and by uh, and by just taking uh, I mean, my practice is uh, uh, based off subluxation. That, that's what I tell everybody we treat, though. And mm -hmm. for a lot of people, subluxation is like a new term, though. Exactly. But it's been there. And that's what we do. And my analysis with that is like, you know, when your teeth hurts, where do you go? To the dentist. Dentist. Right? Yep. When you have subluxation, where do you go? To the chiropractor. And what kind of sound that is, though? Yeah. Exactly. And then you explain to them what subluxation is, which is just as simple as like, you know, when, how many patients come to your practice and they say, hey, I'm out of alignment. Yeah. And, and when, they, when they do, they go, great, you've seen a good chiropractor already. You know what that means. <laughs> someone told you what it is. And I think when, when someone understands what the word means, what nerve interference means, what generation means, they understand their body better. So now they know how to treat their body better. That's great. Now That's they know great. how to treat, how to get themselves healthy versus waiting till they have to go to the ER, urgent care. Now they have, now they have major problems. Yeah, and uh, look at the crisis that we're going through right now. Yeah. So makes sense too. Uh, so uh, let's say lower back pain is one of the top three reasons people go to ER. Exactly. Right. Why do we? Why are we essential, and why we are risking everything to be here to serve our patient at this time? Is because hey, do we want it? People for lower back pain to go to ER and urgent cares, and you know, uh, 
crowd up the 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 hospitals at this point. Yeah. No, and that's 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 where the efficiency comes. Though makes sense, though. And well, a lot of it is going to be your, your people right now. I mean, don't want to go to the ER because in their mind they have the fear of getting sick, going to urgent care, going to the ER. So how do I find in their mind? They're actually creating their own way to find a chiropractor. How do I go somewhere that's safer, that sees healthy people, not sick people every day? That's what we do, right, Doc? Okay, that's we right. get we see healthy people that are not medically sick. At that point, get into better state of health. And because we use x-ray as a diagnostic tool like a hospital would, at that point, we're able to see inside the spine with nerve becoming pinched, causing back pain. So I think exactly. people need to understand a, a better reason to see a chiropractor is to get it diagnosed and find the cause of the problem, not just relieve the back pain. Because once you find the cause, you understand how to treat yourself so you don't have to run and see a chiropractor. We're busy as it is, right, Doc? I mean, I only have right. I can see a day. That's right. Like, you know, as an example, it just popped out to my mind, though, mm -hmm. like, you know, within this week, I've had two new patients came in for knee pain. Wow. And okay. when when we do a proper evaluation, it's not your knee. It's the pain that you have that shoots from your lower back down to your leg. Though. And when we, um, I did uh, one of them, uh, you know, an x-ray, and I found out that uh, this patient had a slippage on their L4, L5 at the mm -hmm. lower level of their uh, by lower back, and she had no idea, you know, about yeah. it though. And, well, no, uh, never looked at it that way. Exactly, because again, you go to the medical doctor, you got pain, you got meds, still makes sense, still exactly. And then, uh, so most of the, so the, I mean, just in general, doing the proper thing and getting to the cause is the key. And what we are as chiropractors is that if you come to my office and ask me, hey, you know, what kind of pill should I take? My first response is that that's not my scope of practice. That's why you got your MD still. Make sense though? Yep. So when you come to my practice, everything is non-invasive. What does it mean? It means that everything that we do is to find out just to evaluate your nervous system, how your nervous system is functioning. And if any disruptions, due to the subluxation that I treat in my practice, then we'll figure out as far as joint restrictions, pain, muscle uh, spasms, uh, uh, and also your organs, you know. So you're able to connect the dots from someone's nervous system to their overall symptom they're feeling may be pain, weakness, numbness, tingling, burning, whatever it is. So it allows them to see the connection so they can actually go, this is what it's coming from. Exactly. Just like, you know, you, 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 you know, you get a patient come to your office and uh, you treat them for a while, you know, not honestly, not every patient put everything down on their, you know, questionnaire. Yeah. Though, you it, know. They put down what they think is important to you. Exactly. And then after it, it has happened several times, I treat a lot of athletes though. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, having a background of being an athlete and how I became a chiropractor due to sport injury, I treat a lot of athletes, all kinds, all ages though. Right. And um, uh, let's say several times, many, many times, I've had p uh, people come in and tell, uh, like, you know, we treat them for, you know, uh, something and then I always treat the body as a whole. And then uh, after two, three months, uh, they come to me and like, Doc, what did you do? You know, oh. having taken my inhaler, uh, yeah. you know, I'm doing everything the same. And I used to use my puffer and inhaler like, you know, every week, two, three times. I haven't been using it for two, three weeks. And then, yeah. you know, when you go dig into it and explain to them about the autonomic nervous system, it's explaining to them that their organs and the brain, uh, how they connect and how that subluxation can affect it. They'd be amazed though. Makes you sense? Almost have, you almost have to have a reason to listen to how the chiropractic actually works, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's no. it's uh, unfortunately it's not taught anywhere else. <laughs> it is. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, it's I not talk, offered even anywhere else. Still, I, I mean, I and I talked to acupuncturist a couple of days ago. We had him on my show too. A lot of it is how do we get the nervous system, the body, to self-regulate back to its normal system? And when we push drugs all the time on people and they become dependent on them, now you're working on an abnormal system to become so so the system can't work properly, can't work efficiently. Exactly. Talking about athletes, Doc, I mean, Dr. Mayor, is 
athletes, they want to be at this high level of efficiency, but when they have a problem here, here, or in their in their lung, for example, their efficiency is not going to be hundred percent. That's right. I make the whole body efficient when they understand that. Oh, this is what it is. Okay, what else can I do? What else can I do? And yeah. you see the light bulb sometimes turn on their head. Like, what else can I do? Yeah. I had a patient just now about half an hour ago, and um, so she asked me, you know, my let's say my son is fourteen year old and he's mm -hmm. happy. Do you think he needs chiropractic? And I was like, let me explain something to you. I have two kids, and um, my kids were adjusted 30 minutes after they were born since. Mm. I was like, amazing. Wow, what do you mean? I said, well, you tell me what's the first spinal trauma? Birth. I, it's a birth. It doesn't matter natural or C section. Exactly. You know? So, and my kids are, you know, pretty much active and athletes. Six days we're on the field with them, though. Fantastic. So the point is, is that if I don't maintain these kids' body and nervous system and the musculoskeletal, I'm not able to keep them six days on the field, and they get injured. Mm -hmm. My daughter got injured. Just walking on a concrete and rolled her ankle. Mm. I thought she broke it. And then we came back and we came to the office to get x rays. I sent the x rays to my friend who's an ortho mm -hmm. and we had questions about it. We took another set of x rays and then he thought she needs to be out for a month and a half. That's we work together with someone else to go, okay, how do we, what's the best way to treat this? Exactly. Exactly. I, I got a second opinion from a very mm -hmm. valid. Uh, source of ortho nice. as long as i knew it's not broken mm -hmm. i said we're gay so i started doing my laser therapy adjusting her guess what in a week she was back in practice and playing and, and, and once you understand from like you said the extra uh, perspective okay is anything broken torn no this is how we can now be aggressively treat this person to heal at a faster rate with less scar tissue with less next injuries conditions so overall, the body can heal properly and heal completely, right? Of course. And it breaks my heart when I, I'm on the fields every day, though. Yeah, it breaks my that. heart. It breaks my heart when I see somebody's on brace. Mm -hmm. Make sense, though? Mm -hmm. They put them on these boots or, you know, wrist brace, elbow brace. And the first question I ask, hey, is it broken? Yeah. You know, they rule that out, okay? I can fix it. Make yeah. sense, though? Yeah. Because this is the philosophy, doc. If the door frame is cricket, I don't care what you do to the door. No. Make sense, though? Yep. You keep banging at it. If somebody has a sprain, it has the joint has to be out of alignment, which we call subluxation, right? That's what exactly. we treat, right? So if a joint is out, guess what? You can immobilize it, and the symptoms go away. But no. think about it. Make sense? It's, it's kind of like a door frame that's cricket, and you keep banging the door at it because you're still using it. Make sense? That, but that's so, a model, right? We're taking away the pain that's causing the problem, but not fixing the problem. Exactly. So, uh, so for that reason, I'm like, hey, if it's not broken, let's adjust the joint. Mm -hmm. Let's heal the, uh, the, the, you know, the ligaments, meniscus, whatever it is, though. And then... Uh, with that, there's three concepts that are used: so physical, chemical, mental. Right? That's okay. optimal health. Right? Yes. So when I adjust you, then I use laser. Laser is advanced therapy that I use in my practice. So I treat a lot of patients with it. It's safe. It's effective. So it's the only modality that you can even use on pregnant uh, awesome. patients. Makes sense. Yes. So when you do that, you regenerate that cells. You put the frame back in it. You re regenerate the cell and kind of like, you know, fixing the dents. And then you paint it with like, you know, a stem or something else on top. And then you feed it with the nutrition. Make sense? Yes. And yes. that's where the fishing comes. And guess what? It's not just about that time spraying. You're going to be stronger. You're building more mm -hmm. stronger. Just like, you know, right now, everybody's after antigens and, you know, uh, all these uh, things for the virus. Though. Vaccine. You yep. have it. 
if you have it, you're immune, right? So exactly. you immune yourself though. But you be careful, but and I'm not gonna tell you it's not gonna happen, but hey, what's the what's a week, then a month and a half, mm -hmm. right? Just yeah. like the concept of that, what we have in the, uh, uh, what's going on right there. There's a lot of healthy people getting unhealthy right now by just sitting home. I, I had a guy call me earlier. He's 89 years old. And I've been home for five, six weeks. I feel worse. And I have these problems now because, because I haven't been able to go out and do my things. Exactly. I'm stressed because of what I'm hearing on the news. I'm, I'm not eating as well. So exactly. it's a common problem people are not seeing as a long-term problem that they're going to have to treat when they leave the house to get themselves healthy again. They, they've changed their habits from being maybe active, maybe a good routine, to now they're being lethargic, not moving as much, and maybe not eating as well. That's great. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's all all combined to, as I said, that's the optimal health, though, as far as physical, chemical, and mental. When you balance that out, though, you know, uh, I always tell my patient that uh, I want to see you lead, you know, exactly. just as least as possible, though. Well, but, but you also want them to start building habits on their own to make sure they actually can do that so they learn how to treat their own body to stay injury-free, stay strong and flexible, correct? Exactly, and that's why, you know, we encourage them, you know, through the process. There's three stages of care you come to my practice so either you're in that initial crisis stage corrective stage or wellness though i yeah. tell everybody hey i want to see you on a wellness but are you there yet yeah. but what you know if uh, you know it's it, it health is a commitment yes it's not just done by me or by you yeah. and again going back to who you are and what you mm -hmm. want out of it though make mm -hmm. sense though yep and that's what make that athletes that are on a high level than you being mediocre right there because they took that effort and you know they followed so, uh, well and they listened to their trainers their chiropractors the physical therapists people that were in their in their corner this is where your body is how do we get to better shape by doing everything not just one thing you don't think like lebron james eats cheeseburgers every day i don't think so not. you know these high end athletes they have a system 24 7 their diet is is regulated their exercise regulated their sleeping is regulated everything it's all important you know and you know i uh i know several uh, uh of uh, my friends who are chiropractors for uh, great teams still mm -hmm. um uh, nfl teams and uh, soccer teams still and uh as yeah i mean they don't announce it as much but yeah. a lot of every single professional team has a chiropractor on board why do you think that is <laughs> because what uh, athletes want they want fast recovery go back on the field efficiency and stay with the season Makes yeah, sense? they don't so, want to cause injuries right they don't have any injuries during the season exactly exactly and uh, uh i mean as i said uh unfortunately uh we are not as uh we, how can I say it? Like, you know, we, we, we have not got the credit that we deserve, but you know what? It's all good though, because. Hey, it, but, but you do, but what I like about your, we talked about yesterday too, is you like to get everyone at a higher level. But I mean that you sacrifice a lot of time, a lot of energy, even your own practice to get chiropractic work together at the local level, at the state level, and even even now, like with this talk, you're getting people to understand there is a standard of care we have to promote, correct? We have to. We have to. You got to be elite. Yeah, you know, you got to be on top of your game, though, as mm -hmm. far as, uh, first of all, you know, it's all, uh, let me tell you, like, if you're a salesperson, what is the most important thing that makes one salesperson better than the other? When they can listen to somebody else, what they're telling their story. Product knowledge, right? Though? Exactly. And Product listen, competency, you know, competency. Right. So, so first of all, you got to be well trained. Mm -hmm. You know, I graduated in two thousand two. I still go to every single, uh, you know, uh, training and seminars to mm -hmm. get better. Though, make sense? Though, it's continue because learning, right? It's continuation. Though, you can. That's why you know. Uh, I mean, it, there's requirements as far as for yeah. us to relicense ourselves 
But if you want to sacrifice just for that, are you going to be the best? Mm. No. Probably not, though. And that's in where your own, like, in your own mind you might be, but that's about it. Exactly, because results matter. Yeah, right? huge. At the end of the day, results matter. So we talked about it yesterday as far mm -hmm. as, like, you know, what's the source of your pretty much new patients? And, you know, we both agreed on that, that really result it matters, though. And I want to see every chiropractor to be successful, though. You know, I... Uh, well, talking about your, your history of being involved at the San Gabriel level, at the local level, at the state level, with the chiropractic board, how, how you've kind of taken that on as your own personal passion? Uh, because, you know, how I became the chiropractic was by itself a miracle because, you know, coming from it, my dad being an engineer, I always had that in mind. As for a civil engineer, I wanted to be a civil engineer. And then I played soccer and I got injured. And um, that injury, uh, changed a lot of things for me. Pretty much, it disabled me since age of 18, and I'm still disabled due to that injury. It was very severe enough to put me out for six months, and then the chiropractic helped me, and then that's how I became a chiropractor. And as we said, my daughter, uh, my uh, my sister, sister. Uh, joined me, and um, she met one of our classmates, and uh, me, my sister, and my brother, we were all chiropractor due wow. to that one injury. And uh, so, uh, because chiropractic helped me, and I'm a first hand, pretty much uh, testimonial. Most of my uh, testimonials in my office is my records, though, and I have them. And uh, so, I always tell everybody, uh, I haven't seen anybody worse than myself in my practice yet. I'm, I'm the best <laughs> testimonial out there, right? Yeah, everybody sees me out there. Hey, you should go see a chiropractor. I'm like, I haven't been. Yeah, if exactly. I haven't been, I'll be on wheelchair right now, though. Right? Yeah, exactly. So, with that uh, background and passion, so when I uh, stepped in here in uh, California and um, in uh, San Gabriel, uh, I joined my our uh, association, and then um, you know, I like to lead. It's just a personal thing, though. You know, you want to go and promote and. Uh, teach and learn and all that and uh, so uh, short term I be, uh, I was on the board with the, our district though in here in St. Gabriel and then I became the president and then moved up all the way to state as far as being a board executive and uh, you know treasurer of the state and things like that and um, did I um, I lost a lot of time uh, with the family, with practice, uh, I lost uh, income, uh, mm -hmm. some income due to not focusing on my practice and trying to pretty much uh, be Wait, out I there. The passion to promote chiropractic and, and the balancing of that is you only so much time in the day. So you sacrifice, you said sacrificed your time with family, your practice, revenue for the practice, practice for your family. So it, that's, most people wouldn't do that. You know why? Why did you choose to do that? Why, what was the purpose of that? What because you, of uh, because uh, because I know chiropractic can change life, though. That's what I'm saying. And, and uh, you know, I know I believe in what I do. And if you would, you know, tell me if you go back, what would you choose to do again? Heartbeat. I'm going to be a chiropractor again, though. You know, yeah. I love what I do. Right? I I got passion for it, and then. Uh, I believe, uh, uh, you know, every chiropractor, I, I interacted with a lot of chiropractors. So it was an honor to meet a lot of great people in this profession, though. A lot of people who really sacrificed their life. They, um, uh, you know, as you know, in uh, early nine, uh, 1900s, uh, we have had chiropractors who went to jail to, to, to uh, have this uh, freedom and, uh, you know, what we can do today to be able to practice chiropractic, Bill. You know, we have to keep the, the political balance of us as licensed doctors at the state level in fighting not insurance companies only, but also pharmaceutical companies, also the medical profession too. And you even worked with physical therapy, you had mentioned, to make sure we have a good footing so we're allowed to practice the way we want to practice and get reimbursed the way we should be reimbursed. Yeah, and, uh, you know, uh, obviously, 
you know, I don't know why we are a threat to medical doctors, like ortho surgeons or all that. I've been approached with a bunch of them. Um, I do spinal decompression as well, which is yep. more with, uh, you know, uh, severe cases. Uh, and I reason I got into it is because of myself. I have a severe herniations and yeah. uh, nerve damage on my left side. And when my daughter was, let's say, six months, I couldn't lift her. Uh, Even just a regular adjustment wasn't helping me. So what's the next step, though? Uh, go into uh, invasive as far as uh, starting with epidurals and then surgery options, which has always been an option for me since I was 17, 18. Wow. And uh, so I chose to go and invest in decompression, see how if that would help me or not. And by that helping me, now I'm helping everybody else almost 10 years now in practice. Yeah. And uh, um, every year I get two, three patients who are scheduled surgery and they come mm -hmm. in and they put their faith in me. And uh, um, honestly, every single one of them, I've treated them and they ha I have saved them from surgery. And I'm not telling you, uh, you know, you shouldn't have surgery. I'm just telling you, this is what I tell them. Hey, listen, you have nothing to lose, right? Yeah. You're but getting surgery no matter what, three months program four months program though right yep if it can help you because i know the effects i know the side of it because i studied it for myself though makes sense yeah. as a patient not as a doctor though yeah so for that for those reasons you know uh that's that's where the fashion passion comes and then uh you know why i have a great relation with other chiropractors in this area is because none of us do everything uh you know that others do. Does it make yeah. sense though? Yep. And that's where that's where specialities come. If that's my specialty, um, I've had several doctors, they send their patients to me, I treat them for what I do and they don't, and then send them back for wellness. Makes yeah. sense? When they're yep. done, hey, you know what? You go back to your car back here. And uh, so that's that these are the reasons that why I put my time and effort and uh, you know, let's say money. In it, and I still do, because uh, that's what we live uh, for. Though. Well, and Doc, you mentioned to yesterday, and it's not obvious to most people, is we see what about ten percent of the population, maybe, maybe even, maybe even fifteen the most, yeah. that have back pain, that have neck pain, that have spinal pain, that have even nerve pain. Why? And and there's so much more supply out there of people that can can benefit from what we do from a natural way of healing so you don't need surgery you don't need medications they can do things on their own we want to keep people the option right we're not able to, we're not there's not enough people hearing our voice as chiropractors to so they can get this maybe i should try this instead of surgery i have people that That's come right. in post-surgical and they go now what do i do i'm like i don't know now you have permanent nerve damage yes. now you've heard things so we're trying to catch them early enough and hopefully a healthy enough state can help them get to healthier and a well state so you can yeah. stay there over time, correct? Of course, think about it. Like, you know, let's say when you have headache, neck pain, uh, lower back pain, any any nervous system musculoskeletal issue, you go to the doctor, obviously they give you meds though. Exactly. They barely touch you to do any exam though. Make mm -hmm. sense though? That's a fact. And, yeah. and how long does it take me to do an exam on a patient? It takes at least 15 minutes, 20 minutes for me to do all orthopedic, neurological testing, chiropractic, musculoskeletal, uh, reflex, and all those things. And then on top of that, x-rays, though. Make sense? Yeah. So, so after uh, offering the meds, so what's the next step? You know, if they're really nice to you, uh, okay, go get some PT, right? Yeah. So when you go to PT, again, the door frame is cricket. You're trying to strengthen the muscles and everything else. And I have a high respect for PTs. Mm -hmm. I, I would love to have a PT, uh, physical therapist in my practice because I think hand to hand will go great. Oh, but huge. Makes sense, though. And then, so, uh, you know, you go to PT, the, you know, again, that trying to live off uh, what insurance offers. You get like three, four PT. Obviously, you know, they, they're limited with their time, they teach you these. You yeah. never do it at home. And then Compliance you know, you're still zero. in pain. And then next level is like, you know, come and do injections. So, you know, you start with cortisone. And then if they're really nice to you, after six months, they get you in for 
authorization for epidural and then they're like epidural it doesn't work and then let's have surgery so how much of time you have well, wasted it well back it up too in the sense where you said you do your x-rays the same day correct your first visit of course how long would it take a normal person going to their medical doctor to get an x-ray oh, god bless you <laughs> yeah that could be almost two three weeks maybe four weeks maybe five weeks who knows and that's even if you're lucky mm-hmm <laughs> that, you have to be almost bad enough for them to take an x-ray versus to come there off. It's like you mm -hmm. want to diagnose the problem first. We're trying to find the cause initially, not just guess medication or even physical therapy. You must we're be half paralyzed. paralyzed. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do something that's effective, right? Of course. Yeah, yeah that's 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 a sad story, and that's that, and that's why you know um, uh, I, I I really have, uh, appreciate this opportunity to share this, uh, and I always say. Uh, I told you last time too. I wish there was more chiropractic offices around. Wow! I wish, like you know, just like gas stations, uh, you know, on a four corner of every intersection, there was a chiropractic office because we will bring more awareness to people. You know, at the end of the day, people do what others have done. Yes. Right, Doc. Yeah, the sheep, oh. the sheep mentality. Exactly. Unfortunately, we're living through that in this crisis. Yes. I'm not getting any political with it, but. Well, but, I mean, a lot of it is you're, you're like you said. If if more people saw ads on TV or the radio or YouTube, wherever it is on social media, mm -hmm. about chiropractic, 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 they'd want to at least be curious. Hey, what is this thing? Exactly. What's going on? How does this exactly. helping so many people exactly. that my doctor doesn't want me to go to? My exactly. my my insurance doesn't cover. My insurance doesn't cover it. Maybe I should still go because the because the benefits there versus me paying a copay to a doctor that's not going to really help me. You know, I uh, one of the things as far as like, you know, these days, like the trend is like reviews, Google, Yelp, Facebook yep. and all that. I'm not a computer say, you know, I'm, you're getting there. Though, no. I'm I'm gonna make you get there. Thanks to you. <laughs> so uh, but but this is the thing, though, this is the thing. When I ask, uh, you know, when the patients come in here and then they get results or just in general, when it, you know, the, the conversation comes up, I'm like, you know what? I just want you to go share your story. Yeah. I don't care if you give me a four star, three star, five star. I don't care about the stars. I just want stories to watch. I have one stars in my uh, on my uh, you know uh, platform still. I love those. You know why? Because I go and respond to them, and most of them are the people who don't want to be helped though. And if I have all five stars, I look like fake. You know, I love to have those one, two, three stars because there's reasons for everybody. The chiropractic is for everybody, but is your mindset to have, to accept it? Though, so if you haven't accepted it, then that's why I like to reject patients. So I reject patients, and I feel good about it because you know what? If you don't care about your health, you don't want to put uh, your time in it. If you don't want to invest your money in it, though, guess what? You're gonna come in once or twice. And I told you, you need to be here more than that. And then you're not going to feel good about it. And guess what? You're going to go say, I went to Dr. Mayer and I didn't get any relief and help. You're not going to tell them what Dr. Mayer tells you as far as your treatment plan, would you? No. you know? And then who's the bad guy in here? Mm -hmm. Dr. Mayer is a bad guy, right? You're, almost, you're, helping, you're <laughs> helping yourself have build a better brand by being selective. Exactly. Just like anything else in life, God. Uh, uh, like, you know, as far as friends, as far as like who you choose Good. to be, you Good know, one, yeah. as far as, uh, you know, these days being around positive people, you mm -hmm. know, it's crisis, it's bad, yeah. But hey, what can I do to be positive? I want to be around positive. that perception of what, like I said, what, what can we, what can we think, what can we do to be, to make our bodies healthier, our minds healthier by being around good people versus the opposite? And, um, you know, what again, we come back to that is all about the function of the brain and the connection of the brain and the body to the nerves that mm -hmm. needs to be protected. And that's all we do. That's it. That's why I don't call myself a backcracker, neck yeah, pain, doctor, back. I. It's all about nervous system. Where is the stress level comes from? From hmm. nervous system. When the brain and the body don't communicate due to, you know, interferences like subluxation, due to, you know, uh, physical, chemical, mental, uh, you know, uh, disruptions. So, 
right. the whole body is, is Mason nervous system. Nervous system what controls the body's everything. Exactly. And we really understand exactly. that we're almost be, we're basically neurologists getting the body to self-regulate back to better normal. So at that point we can feel good. We can actually get better. We can get healthier. Like I exactly. said, obviously people can need if they break a bone, go see an orthopedist, go see your medical doctor, go to the urgent care. But the problem is people are realizing now they're paying more. And what I'm saying, at least more people are paying out of pocket because they want to get healthy, not just feel good. They want to go, what is really healthy? What, what do I have to do to get healthy? Like you said, you have to get people on the underneath why the body can heal itself, not just the superficial. Let's take care of that one pain. And that's why I always say like intention is different than action. Good. If you don't have action, intentions, you just actually that's like shooting yourself in the foot though. Because you know it and you don't do it though. Makes sense though. You're giving and, and you're giving them value why it's important too. Of course. Why it and, it, out. and it goes back to education. And that's why I hate to see <clears throat> I've uh, visited over hundred and hundreds of car uh, chiropractic offices. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just telling you, like, you know, just come and say hi and bye. I visit at least, I stay half a, half a day there, observe what they do. And uh, one of the saddest thing that I see that's going with the fast paced life and uh, is that doctors wanna get the patients come in, adjust them and let them go. But they never educate them about what, how, and why makes sense though, and yeah. then it doesn't take then, that long. It doesn't take forever. It just takes exactly, a little time. Exactly, and that's why it's sad when I see the uh, patients coming that have seen chiropractor for twenty years, ten years, thirty years. They don't even know what chiropractic is, and they're asking when I ask them what's chiropractic to you. The answer is like, if it makes you feel good, that they might as well take a pill then. Exactly. And that's, that breaks my heart. And that's why we're doing what we're doing right now. And I would love to, um, you know, more of these interactions between the car factors, between uh, as far as the education out there, because believe me, it works. It works. And we give people the reason why it works and why chiropractic can benefit you health wise, not just pain relief wise. Then you understand, I think, okay, how do I, get healthy with chiropractic, like you said, when education is the biggest thing, then stay healthy by understanding how my body should work properly through motion, moving my bones, moving my joints, getting my own health routine down too. It motivates, it gives them momentum to get started with something else, to get their life at a better, healthier habit state. Sure. And you know, at the end of the day, again, it's your body mm -hmm. and how you take care of it that's how you're going to live. So you can choose to be living in disaster and, uh, you know, chaos, exciting, chaos. Life. An exciting life, right? Exactly. <laughs> or, uh, you can, uh, you can just like, you know, take actions mm -hmm. and, uh, do the right thing for your system and your body. Though. And it's always up to the person. Right? I mean, it, like you said, everyone's at their it's own time frame. Everyone, everyone, even though we're, we're here to help people, we're, we're going to see people for back pain, neck pain, relief, nerve pain, even to over headaches. But how do we how do we help them understand this is how you treat your own body? So in the long run, when it happens again, what are you going to do? Are you going to run to your doctor and spend six months to a year, take medications, decreasing your quality of life, not working, whatever it is, versus, hey, now I know where to go. Now I have to treat my body so now I can stay at a healthier state. Exactly, exactly. And uh, you know what? Uh, I see a great uh, change in the whole thing as far as the doctors and uh, they're uh, pretty much uh, trusting more into chiropractic. The ones that have conscious, you know, yeah, yeah. there's people that they want, they're in it for the money. Though. But the, but there, there are a lot of uh, uh, MDs um, uh, that they're really changing their prospect as far as chiropractic and uh, they understand it and uh, they refer more than ever right now and we need that interactions and that's where we have to be as uh, chiropractors out there and uh, that's why i admire what you're doing as far as your workshops i see that you go to senior places i see that you do like you know classes as far as not just about adjustments and all that just about like how to take care of yourself when you go home because home care is a really critical thing 
after what we do, what we do at the office, though, and that's how you carry yourself on. And I really uh, admire you for doing that. I should learn and do more of that. I have workshops in my uh, practice, uh, uh, and um, I would love to do more of that. Uh, and and it, it, it takes, uh, I guess, like you like you do already with chiropractors, and from a state level too, and as a whole, even with your interns, also putting people to go to chiropractic school. It takes a certain confidence, per se, and experience to go, okay, I'm, I'm good with my practice. I'm good with what my practice. How do I get more people to understand what health is? And at that point, keep them healthy so they become your best voice, what chiropractic does. Exactly, exactly. And matter of fact, I have two, uh, two uh, one of my staff that's going to start uh, chiropractic school in uh, uh on September, and uh, also have a student that's right now uh, shadowing me, and uh, it's amazing, though. You know, uh, you know what we learn even in school is different than what reality is, and you gotta keep it real, though. And that's why you know the fear factor again, the fear factor. Uh, you gotta get, uh, you gotta let that go. And uh, I'm talking to people, community, patients, doctors, interns. The fear factor is what kills us, and that's what we are paying for it right now, as far as the society. And um, uh, I hope this video has uh, helped a lot of uh, people who have doubts. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, there's contraindication to chiropractic care, and that's why we take the precaution to do what we do. That's why we take the X-rays. That's why we do the examinations. Though I don't have to do it, though, just like yeah, some sure. don't, though. But I do it because I want to make sure it's safe for you. Mm -hmm. And if it's not, then we'll guide you to other channels. That's where it's, you know, there's uh, other channels involved in it. So that's that's what it is. And uh, uh, as far as uh, as far as this, uh, you know, it's you know, it's something to work. Just people. try it. Just try it. That's try all it I'm going to help you. And even if you come in just for an examination, want to understand like you like you're doing too. You're able to at least give someone consultations. Go, hey, look, this is how it works. It may be help, it may help you not, maybe not. But in the future, when you have this, this, and this, this is how your body actually works. That's what the workshops do. Is exactly. really educate people how to take care of themselves, not just run to medicine, run the medicine, run to the medicine cabinet, right, run to right. this, or look up online and you see ten different things it can be. Then scare yourself over everything. That's right. That's right. Exactly so, right. Cool. Anything else for your first show, Doctor Mirror? My show. Well, uh, I just want to thank you for this opportunity. It was uh, it was great, and thanks, Christy. Christy Jones is uh, amazing. What she yeah, does, I've been uh, a couple of years, uh, you know, in the same group and uh, health group, and uh, really, uh, you know, getting awareness out, especially at this critical time. Oh gosh! And uh, you know, guys, don't be afraid. You know, there's, no. there's going to be pros and cons to everything, though. But uh, you can't let your mind and uh, your soul go. And uh, again, goes back to your nervous system and all that. Get that cleared up. Get out there, exercise, uh, drink Move. a lot of water, get help, be healthy. Uh, call us. You know, uh, you know. You, well, uh, and like I said, we all, we all I, offer free consultations. Exactly. Just come in and talk to us, though. Just like you know, I'll be doing it now. That's all it is. How, how you educate yourself without having to pay for it. Come and just figure out how it works. Exactly, exactly. And you never know. The sky's the limit, right? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Well, thank you, Doc, for being on the show. I'm, thank I'm you so much. Too. I, I put him inside the Facebook stuff. What I'd normally do, too, is going to put it on YouTube so people can see it more. But I want you, Doc, your homework going to be how do you put more videos out there so that yeah. people know what you do. This is phenomenal information for your community, for both our communities. That's where they can understand how to get themselves healthier from a natural way. Now, I know another uh, really effective and uh, way to do it. Uh, I, I, my patients are going to be proud if I do it. Stream yard again. Yes, all <laughs> ages will be, my friend. I owe that, owe that to you. Though. Thank you so much for uh, you, this friend. opportunity. Thank you. Have a great Thank day. Yeah. Bye. Bye, everybody.